guys, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Aubrey. This episode is a special request video. It was requested by Candace Don. So shout out to Candace. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for suggesting this wonderful video idea. So I'm not going to be cooking a recipe in this video. Instead, I'm going to take you all on a little tour of our kitchen. And I'm just going to show you all some of our kitchen staple items. So things that we usually have in our pantry and in our refrigerator and in our cabinets. So let's go ahead and get started. And let's start first with our pantry items. So here is our pantry. And here I have quite a few cans of diced tomatoes, maybe three or four. I've got some kidney beans. Um, right here and then this is actually left over from Thanksgiving but this is something good to have in your pantry carnation milk um, and then I have some artichoke quarters back there and these are just dried bread pieces from Thanksgiving this doesn't expire until January 22nd 2015 so I'm going to keep this um, until Christmas is over because who knows I might want to make dressing for Christmas and it's just something good to have so on the next level down I've got basically a level of rice. Um, I have some sweet rice here, some black rice, and then some regular jasmine rice, um, along with an extra bottle of soy sauce that I keep. Um, there's also some ramen noodles back here, if you're wondering what that is. Um, so we have that in the back. And then on the next level down, we have different types of stocks. So chicken stock and vegetable stock. And then there's also some tomato basil soup and it looks like some more okay chicken broth and then I think I also have some beef broth um, and then on the very last level of our pantry is I guess baking essentials so right here in the front is sugar granulated sugar behind that I have whole wheat flour this is regular white flour and this is a brown sugar and the reason why I put the brown sugar in this jar is because brown sugar dries out really quickly and I like to keep it in a sealed container that lets in very little air that way it stays moist and it's easy to get out so those are my baking essentials and then back there in the corner it's just more sugar more flour and more brown sugar that I haven't opened yet but these are really good because when you buy flour and sugar and they come in packages like that, these containers are really good for the sugar and the flour that you don't use. This is a good way to store it and keep it fresh and to keep, you know, dirt and other things from getting inside of it. Next, I will do our cabinet staples. So on the first level, I have our spices. So I actually have a vlog where I organize this cabinet. I'll put the link to that vlog in the description box below. What type of spices do we have? Um, I think we have probably what a lot of people keep in their cabinets. We've got some thyme here, cumin, some sage, um, some ground turmeric root. Back here, basil, curry powder. This is more sage from Thanksgiving. So bay leaves, um, coriander, chili powder, regular salt and pepper, lemon pepper, parsley, baking powder here, nutmeg, and then some spices that we don't use that often like orange peel, savory spice, white pepper. Those are pretty much our spices. And then up here on the second level of our cabinet um, are the bulk items that we usually get from Whole Foods. And when you buy bulk items at Whole Foods, they usually come in baggies like this. And this is okay for temporary use. Like for example, these items here that are in the bags are for a recipe that I'm going to make soon. So it's okay to keep them like this. But if you buy some bulk items and you're not going to use them within the next few days, it's nice to have a more permanent way of storing them. And so for that, I just went out and bought several different sizes of mason jars and I keep my bulk items stored that way. So here I have some popcorn kernels, rice, here's some more brown sugar, this is light brown sugar, um, oatmeal groats, got some short grain brown rice, and on and on and on. So this is what I did to be able to distinguish between some of the bulk items that look very similar. This is quinoa here, 
and I just labeled it. I put a piece of tape on top of the can and that way, for example, you know, this is obviously some type of flower, but there's no way I can just tell by looking at it, but because it's labeled, I can see, oh, it's coconut flower. And last is our third shelf of our cabinet. Cornmeal up there, some caro, dark corn syrup, cornstarch, and some pasta noodles. And last but not least, we have our refrigerator items. I'd have to say that these items change the most, uh, depending on when I've gone grocery shopping and what I need at the grocery store. So for example, we rarely buy milk. We're not that big on dairy, to be honest at all. But we have milk in here this week because Matt asked me to buy milk for some brand bud cereal that he wanted to eat. So this week we have milk. Oh, this is a real staple. I recently started buying this pre-peeled garlic from our local Asian grocery store. And this makes putting minced garlic in your meal so much easier. So this is a definite must have if you like garlic. So like I said, these items are perishable so they change the most. We've got our Thanksgiving leftovers there. And then we've got some vegetables here and some more tangerines, um, a tomato. And then we've got all of our condiments here on this side. So, you know, your ketchup, mustard, soy sauce, those types of things. And then of course, eggs. And another staple is butter. So those are our kitchen staples. I hope you enjoyed this video about what we keep stocked in our kitchen cabinets, our refrigerator, and our pantry. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. And if you have a suggestion for another video you would like me to do, feel free to leave that in the comment section below as well. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time on another episode of Cooking with Aubrey. Bye, you guys.